The Youth Talk program connects students in the United States with their peers in the Middle East and North Africa to discuss issues including culture, media and society, women's rights, and government and foreign policy. In 2012, this program connected 329 students across six countries and nine U.S. states. Good afternoon. Um, I'm Lauren. We have 12 students with us today. I'm really excited to get a debate started. Hi guys, I'm Sean Bavi, and today we have eight people and we're excited to start the debate. Today we're going to teach you two Arabic words. Change in Arabic is taghir. where you get your news from. Local channels such as Al Jazeera. We also refer to BBC, CNN, and um, other international news stations. We use Twitter and Facebook for many of our clubs and newspapers at St. Mary's. Our generation should actually help the media inform other people and raise awareness about other things. The whole world was looking at the Middle East because everyone was searching for their freedom. Isn't it our responsibility to support the, the pro-democratic movement and at the same time to uh, ensure that a massacre doesn't happen, a massacre of those rebels? Even if the intentions of the U.S. are good, even if they're trying to spread democracy and to give people their human rights, nothing gives them the right to act as the international police. How does society view women that wear the hijab versus There's... women that don't? We have a teacher here right now she is completely independent, she does charity, but she wears the veil because it's her religion, you know, she can interpret it any way she wants, she chooses to wear the veil, but she interacts with men every single day, she's completely independent. The situation is getting better and better, and maybe one day we'll all be ready, maybe t this is not the day, but it is changing, and that itself should give hope. Freedom is hurriyah. Thanks for this great opportunity. It was great to meet all of you. Um, it was really interesting learning about your school and a little bit about your culture and your daily life. Bye. Bye.